Hey everyone, it's Michael and Ruben from bullionnowbullionnow.com.au bringing you the best bullion bars, coins and gossip from around the world shipped to you straight out of Melbourne. So Rubes, the time has come. It has. This is confession time. <laughs> <laughs> Stare down the barrel of that camera, yeah, Michael. Tell the, the people one. what's going on. So... World Money Fair is coming up in Berlin. What is the World Money Fair? So the World Money Fair is probably one of the greatest gatherings of numismatic and stacking type um, businesses, collectors, people, anyone who's kind of involved in the industry rolls into Berlin at um, the start of February and um, all meet up together and show their wares and sell things. And it's, it's actually fantastic from a collector's perspective because you can wander around pretty much every bullion a coin dealer in Europe, some from the States, some from even from Australia, there's some of the guys go across and they have their uh, their displays there on public day and you can buy all sorts of stuff there. You also find the manufacturers go there. So you'll see things, you'll even see the manufacturers suppliers there. So people will be there selling stamping equipment, people will be there selling um, things to make capsules and, and all sorts of crazy things all around the place. And in fact, it's got so big now, the last time I was there, they actually split it up over a couple of different areas just to try and cater for all the stands. It's, it's really massive. You can't get a, an idea of it until you actually go there because it's so big and you wander through you know, an auditorium area um, and then through a small corridor and you think, wow, that's huge. And then you go into this next room at the end of the corridor and it's an even bigger auditorium with more people and more stands in there. So it's, it's great fun. If you're in the neighbourhood, I can't over-recommend. to be in Berlin. <laughs> That's right. I can't uh, overemphasize the fact that you'll have a blast if you go there and you'll just kind of walk around like a stunned mullet for the first couple of hours. So that is on. A lot of the, um, the, the business deals are done prior to it, so kind of the week before leading into it. Um, there's a lot of, uh, as Matt would say, shaking hands and kissing babies going on as um, people get around and, and meet their suppliers or their customers uh, on a wholesale retail level. Um, so that all goes on as well. Now, we've been, we've been um, building this up for many months now about, woo, we're going back to Berlin the first time after COVID, because they shut it down for a few years after COVID. Um, so we're all really excited. We've been talking to the Perth Mint, the New Zealand Mint, like um, Baird, the Royal Mint, all sorts of uh, organisations from all around the world. Um, and we're all very keyed up on going. However, now comes the confession part. Um, Ruben is going and I'm not. <laughs> so a uh, couple of reasons why not. One is um, I've had a minor medical issue that hasn't been dealt with. It was meant to be, I was meant to go in for very minor surgery just prior to Christmas and it got delayed for various reasons in the medical industry and I haven't been able to go for that surgery. So it means that I'm not allowed to fly. So I can't technically leave the country. In fact, I can't even leave the state. I can't even fly my own little aeroplane because I've been grounded. So um, I'm gutted. In some ways, it's actually worked in our favor because as, as a lot of viewers would know, we've been introducing a new backend system and a new website. And as always happens with these things, there's gremlins that you've got to hunt down in the system and get rid of before it runs as smoothly as you'd like. And some of those gremlins are still defeating me at this stage. So. Um, I'm going to take the opportunity, the two weeks that I was going to be in Germany, I'm actually going to spend um, back here hunting down some of those little gremlins that are still hiding in our system. Um, and I'm sure our customer base will appreciate that so we can get it running up smoothly. smoothly. But have no fear, Reuben is going in my stead. My steed? My place. Like one of them. <laughs> <laughs> so, Reuben, is this the first time you've been to Germany? It is. It is. What are you hoping to see? Uh, well, that's it. I mean, you've, you, you have made comments to me in the past about not really kind of grasping the scale of, of an event like this until you've actually gone. So I'm <laughs> looking forward to actually, you know, that's it, seeing that for myself and hopefully being able to, to capture as much of it as possible to pass on. Yeah. Um, we, we have actually had you um, take some footage over there in previous years, um, but you had to be a little, <laughs> say, a little sneaky about it. Um, I went undercover. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so hopefully we can, um, yeah, I can be a little bit more um, proper about it and uh, get, some, get some good shots and actually capture Capture, capture the event and um, capture some interviews, meet with some of the um, the, the, the mints, refineries, and um, yeah, 
They're, have a talk to them on camera. Have a talk to them on yeah. camera um, and uh, see what products we can get from them over there as well. Have you talked to the organisers? Are they going to let you in with the camera? <sighs> we've uh, we've sent some emails <laughs> back and forth. You, you, you have got the uh, the language barrier there as well that we're also trying to figure out. Um, but yes, hopefully, hopefully that shouldn't be a problem. If not, I'll uh, I'll break out the GoPro and see uh, how I go with my sneaky yeah. filming. Yeah, that's right. You'll be undercover as well. That's Shady it. hat, glasses, a whole lot. Stuff. <laughs> yeah. Ruben's going over there, like I said, as the as the BN, the bullion now representative over there, and um, he's um, going to meet with many people. But we're also sending someone else or tying in with someone else, and that's one of the wholesalers that's uh, going over across to there, um, and that's Mark. So we'll cut over to a bit of an interview that Ruben and I did with him uh, earlier on, just to um, just to introduce Mark and uh, what he's hoping to see over there and what he's able to bring to us. Hey everyone, it's Michael and Ruben and Mark from Bullion Now, bullionnow.com.au. Although Mark obviously is not from Bullion Now because um, you haven't seen him around the traps or in front of the camera. So, why, have you? <laughs> why are you here? I am here because you're not going to Berlin. That's the red hot rumour. So, uh, Mark's actually going, Mark was going anyway because Mark is one of our wholesalers, but he was um, kind enough to say that I can't go, so uh, how about I? Pick up some slack for you while while we are over there. So um, we've jumped at the chance of having Mark involved with uh, the Bullion Now presentation of the Berlin Money Fair. Can, can I just say that the uh, the, the uh, Obi Wan uh, <laughs> is taking Luke uh, from Tatooine? Oh, we're playing that one. To the old <laughs> Yeah. Uh, let's, hope not, let's hope it's not blown up when we get That's there. That's right, I was going to say, older is right. probably not a good way to put it. But, but, but I did hear off camera that you'd promised Ruben that if he finds a Death Star at the show, that he's allowed to buy it on the corporate credit card. I'm going to clarify it slightly. <laughs> it has to be the New Zealand Mint Death Star. Uh, okay. It weighs, was it one kilo? Or it's a kilo. kilo. It's a kilo. You, you, are, you have permission to buy a one kilo New Zealand Mint Death Star over there. Fantastic. Yeah, done on camera. We've got evidence of <laughs> it got here, a, We've got a challenge. So that's that's the first bit. There's a couple of things I'm going to set as missions for you guys. Uh, I, want you, I want you to find a Death Star. Yep. I don't think you're going to find that one, but give it a fair crack, and if you can, you can buy it. Mm -hmm. I want you to find um, a couple of gold Zimbabwean um, coins, you know, the new yes. release one. Yep. Not some dodgy one from the background. All right, all right. <laughs> But one of the new release ones that they released last year, if you can find a couple of those, absolutely, you can score them as well and bring them back into country. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm open to suggestions from the wider audience as to other things we can set as challenges for them to find in and around Berlin and particularly the Berlin Money Fair. Are you limiting it to be bullion related? No. All right. All right. Not specifically, but I will filter them fairly heavily. <laughs> <Yeah, we're, we're laughs> may not do them. <laughs> they, they have to be stuff we're allowed to bring back through customs. There you go. Preferably. <laughs> there, there is an outgoing challenge for Ruben as we go out through customs, though. Do you want to talk a bit about that? Or have you done that? Uh, no, I haven't yet. Yeah. Um, I think we're, we're talking about, we haven't, haven't figured out the finer details yet, but the idea is to buy a sovereign um, before we leave the country and, uh, and see how we go through, through customs, through the GST problem and, and things like that. So It's not a problem, it's a bonus. It is. Well, it is. It is. This is yeah. the one time where you're happy to pay GST on a soft because um, you get it back as you go through customs. But uh, And then can sell it overseas for, for near the spot. Oh, you're going to sell it while you're over there, are you? I might, might see you around. Yeah, all right, so I'm going to pay for the sovereign here and you're going to pocket the money over there. <laughs> well, well, yeah. <laughs> So, anyway, back on Toby. So what do you want to know? Do you want, like, who will we see? You yeah, know? so what, what are you going to go over there? So uh, we've been, BTA has been going over there for you know, probably about 10 years now, apart from the last two. Uh, and one of the highlights is obviously our catch up with the Perth Mint on a, on a Tuesday night yep. for pizza. Uh, hi, Neil and the guys, if you're watching. Um, that's that's always fun, and that was um, that was the genesis of the Back to the Future series all those many many years ago, and it was the genesis of the Silver Kangaroo. Uh, it was kind of thought of there, and then they started producing it from that. Um, we're going to go see the Royal Mint. Uh, we're going to see the we're going to see Baird. Uh, we've not only are we meeting with Baird in uh, in Berlin, but we're also going to go and see them in London as well, which will be a hoot. Uh, we're catching up with guys from uh, AMARC, we're catching up with the Germania Mint people uh, and the Bold, 
get bull mint people. Mm. We're catching up with those for the first time, and that, that's going to be great. We're catching up with uh, our friends at LPM uh, and our friends at PAMP. I think they're the, oh, and Scottsdale. Hi, uh, Josh uh, and Eric, if you're out there. And the Zilla Mint, I believe, is also on the agenda. Oh, not on my agenda yet. So <laughs> well, let's organise that meeting. And I noticed that um, the guys from My Gold are uh, itching for a meetup. So we'll, we'll we'll see if we can catch up with them too. See now, I'm just getting jealous. <laughs> <sighs> so yeah, it'll be a great time. And um, Ruben, this is your first trip over. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so um, I've seen some of the, the footage from your original trips. Um, but I haven't actually been over there myself, so yeah. whole new world for me and hopefully, like I said, um, I can try and capture that on camera. Yeah, so Mark's going to escort you around, keep you out of trouble. That's it. What sort of stuff are you going to see outside of the people you've just mentioned? What sort of stuff are you going to see in and around the World Money Fair? Are you going to go in and have a well, walk? The, the act, actually running around the stands, yeah, literally have to run around them to get through it in a day. It's, it, the scale of this thing is, is so big. Mm. Uh, you get people selling coins, uh, bars, collectibles, ones that are uh, precious metals, ones that aren't. Uh, last time we went, the thing we were seeing everywhere were the zero euro notes. Yeah. And they were everywhere. And I... Uh, Blew me away. That's the how what the variety and the different prices and stuff on those things were. It was it was crazy. People were actively buying government issued banknotes with zero written. that had zero value. So not only were people buying fiat currency, but it was a fiat currency with a zero face value. Yeah, <laughs> so it was, it was very it's funny. the dodgiest of dodgy cons I think I've ever seen in my life. But yeah, uh, no, very, it's very very, very popular. Uh, one of the things that I love to go see is the uh, the de live demonstrations of minting facilities, like the big presses, mm. um, the way they make the blanks. There's demonstrations of how they cut the dies for actually making uh, your coins and stuff like that. Um, so hopefully, if we if we get permission, we can film a little bit of that and, and show you that stuff. That'd be great. Um, That'd be excellent. It's really good. The other thing to look out for, Rubes, you'll see some of the um, some of the retailers there will have literally pallets of banknotes. Um, you know, they'll be yes. Zimbabwean. They'll be um, from Venezuela, you know, those kind of banknotes that are worth not much in reality, but when you see pallet loads of these things, they, it just... They tell a story. Yeah, <laughs> they do. The, so, the collapse of fiat currency. <laughs> it's, um, it's fascinating to watch them trolley these pallets in of banknotes. It's, yeah, it's otherworldish. Yeah, I think we're expecting snow as well. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair. I want to go. <laughs> One of the... Things that I mentioned, I noticed that you've got um, the new auction facility yes. on, on the website. So some of the things that, that if we find something interesting, um, we might look for some stuff to auction and maybe even have the auction whilst we're still there. Now, one of the things, um, I'm letting a cat out of the bag a little bit. Um, you already know about this a little bit too. When we were over there a few years ago, um, I was over with Mark and we bought a piece of the Berlin Wall. And it's got a coin holder in the middle. Yep. So I thought it would be topical to have that up for auction with a coin in it yep. while you guys are over in Berlin. Oh, that's, that's awesome. We, so, we'll, we'll go and see bits of the wall. It's a fascinating history in Berlin. Yeah. And it's become the most peaceful place in the world, given its history. It's just amazing. Yeah, that's no, good stuff. So that's it. That's a, in a bit of a nutshell. That's um, what's happening. Uh, Ruben and I thought it would be a good idea to bring Mark in front of the camera rather than just throwing him in the deep end at, uh, when he got into Berlin. So I uh, appreciate you come, uh, stopping by and jumping in front of the camera now. Well, I'm always kind of around. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And yeah, pop, pop any ideas or, or challenges that you want us to do down in the comments. And won't, won't promise we'll be able to do them all. Or the, get, get creative. But yeah, come up get with creative. something for us to do and we, uh, we'll see if we can do it while we're over there. Yeah, it doesn't have to be just Berlin, you know, because they're going to London. So, you know, maybe a photo, <laughs> I don't know, with a... Silver to, kangaroo on the on we, Buckingham we're Palace. Get a wall. selfie with Prince Harry. Yeah, that's the one. Except he's in the US. I was going to say he's on the US and okay. Canada, isn't he? Anyway, so yeah, put some challenges in down below or in the comments section and uh, we'll have a look. We will be pretty selective <laughs> on what we choose out of that, but you never know your luck on that one. Um, stay tuned for further information about the um, Berlin Money Fair, or the, it's actually the World Money Fair, but it's just held in Berlin. Um, and uh, what these guys get up to while they're over there. It should be fun. So um, that's it. We'll talk again soon. See ya.